Hi, I'm Abby Crinetti. Um, I'm 18. I go by she, her, and I'm a lesbian. Hi, my name's Gabby. I'm 17 years old. I go by she, her, and I'm gay. Hi, I'm Ani East or Ani. I go by any and all pronouns, and I'm a non-binary lesbian. Um, I think the worst part about being in the closet was just like the feeling of isolation. Like I couldn't talk to anyone. I didn't really understand what I was going through. Um, I was really scared, and I'm really close to my family, and just not being able to show them like exactly the person I was or understand exactly who I was, it just was a really scary experience. So the worst thing that's happened to me since coming out was towards the beginning of when I started coming out, which was in eighth grade. And at the time, I identified as biromantic asexual. And I thought, all right, it's time to come out. And I got my entire group of friends over for a sleepover for my birthday. And you know, I sat them all in a circle. And I was like, hey, I like guys and gals. Like, that's just who I am. And I thought they were going to be really accepting because, you know, everyone there was like really accepting as a person and, you know, I was like hoping. But then when I said it, one girl looked at me and said, I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. I'm afraid you're gonna molest me. And I was like, you what? Like, <laughs> what? And she was like, well, yeah, I'm afraid you're gonna touch me because you like girls. And like something in me broke. <laughs> um, it, and at first, you know, of course I was terrified and I was freaking out and internalizing it. And like, I think the worst part of that experience was staying up that night when everyone else went to bed and looking over and seeing her on the other side of the room, like curled up because she thought I was going to hurt her. So I think a common misconception, especially with girls in particular, is that they might think that I have a crush on them or I'm attracted to them, even though I'm not. It's a common misconception that people think, you know, people, when I say people, I mean girls, that a lot of girls think that lesbians are attracted to like every girl and they might think that I have a crush on them, which isn't true. Um, another thing is that uh, I know I struggled with this with my parents is that it was kind of hard for my parents, specifically my dad, um, to grasp that my sexuality wasn't a choice. It was just the way that it is. Um, I remember he asked me, well, well, like, why do you like girls? Or like, when did you, how did you know? And it's just, it, it's not, it wasn't a choice like that. It wasn't like a decision that I made. It just, it, it was the way it was best thing that's happened to me since coming out is a long series of things because I got really into activism, but the best thing that's come out of this activism is I was at the LA Respect Awards for GLSEN, which I am on their National Student Council for. I'm one of 15 members nationally, and we were at the LA Respect Awards, you know, doing all that kind of stuff, and I was sitting back at the end, you know, on the back staircase as, you know, people were sitting at their tables after I presented and as I'm sitting there with, you know, some higher ups and some other kids, one little person, little kid came up to me with their parent and they were too scared to talk to me and their parent spoke for them and she said, she was like, you know, my child's like so glad to see you up there. It was like amazed to see me and like excited and just like happy to see representation and like it struck a chord with me to have this kid who was too scared to talk to me. like kind of starstruck and like amazed that they can like live their life how they want to. I think the best thing to happen to me is that I found a sense of community and I feel like I'm a part of something. Like a lot of my friends who I surround myself are also LGBT, so I feel, I just feel very included. Like I, I'm happy where I'm at, and I'm like I finally found my place to be. Just finally feeling that like rush of relief 
I guess, and having all my friends and family and girlfriends support me. Um, me and my girlfriend started dating a little more than a year ago, and she really is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Genuinely. She's made me into a better person. She's made me the happiest I've ever been, and I'm really grateful that we see a big future together.